Is the named person scheme an unacceptable intrusion in, uh, by the state into family life? I think this is a fascinating topic. It's a, it's a, <laughs> for, 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 for English and Welsh viewers, I should just explain that this is an SNP scheme that by law every family will have to name somebody outside the family uh, to look after, offer advice or support when asked about every child. So you have a child, you all know this, but outside Scotland I think people don't. You have a child and you, you have godparents and all that, but you have to name somebody, a school teacher or something, who acts like a kind of, no, well, no, you'll no, explain no, you, it. You, you, don't don't name them. you don't name them. The you don't even name them. them for you. The state gives you the a name. The state person. gives you one. I didn't know it, was, it gets Get stranger worse. and stranger. Yeah. Um, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and the name person, I quote from the Scottish Government website, only offers advice or support when asked or when well-being needs are identified. What's this about? Yeah, well, I mean, you, you are not right, actually, in, in, a lot of what, in some of what you said. Uh, the advice is only provided when or if a child or indeed a parent needs it for the well-being of the child. This is not a state guardianship scheme. Some of the hyperbole around this, some of the misconceptions around this are not only vacuous, but frankly put children's lives in danger, those who could slip through the cracks. Now, I have two or did have two foster nephews until recently. Those children were passed from pillar to post to pillar to post. The named person scheme already exists in many parts of the country and has run successfully across many parts of the country. All we're simply doing is running it and rolling it out across Scotland. Now, the Labour Party, of course, supported us because of the elections, changed their position. That's not true. We had position and support of other left of centre parties, like the Green Party, on this. This is a very, very simple scheme. If a child feels they need to talk to somebody, if a parent feels they need to talk to somebody, instead of speaking to five different agencies or ten different agencies about the issues they're having, they have one point of contact. But the sorry, misconceptions do, do, around do, do, this are utterly yeah, horrendous and will put children's lives at risk. It is it unacceptable. Put, well, hold on a second. Yeah. So, in effect, you're saying that every child born in Scotland will have, until presumably they're 18 or whatever, mm. a social worker no. attached to them. It wouldn't also be... It could be what? a teacher, a teacher. It could be a, a health teacher. Well, advisor. In the, in the role of... A so, as a social worker. No, somebody no, outside no. the family. Not, right? somebody, somebody who is, who is supposed to oversee their well-being. Um, you don't call it a state garden. I, I think it is a state garden, and I think the SNP described it in one of their briefing documents as a head gardener, uh, which just seems pretty extraordinary to me. You know, we have, lots of, we have lots of gardeners and lots of plants, but there has to be a head gardener to oversee the well-being. Um, and this is the kind of description that I think is is very distressing for parents when you think, well, uh, you know, who's who's in charge of my children in my house? Well, well, it, it's, it's parents me. are in charge. Anybody who is a good parent, and the vast majority of parents are exceptional parents. Those that come from a loving household, you will not have well, teachers or help. Well, then why do I need a named because, person because if you, I am a good parent? Because you might be a good parent, but that's not to say that other people will be good. But parents. you are, you are assuming that, that the policy assumes. Let me put it to you like this. I was thinking about this the other day. Now, I was driving in Italy the other day, uh, got stopped, thought I've been speeding, I've done something wrong, wrong, etc. And of course, it was purely a random stop because in lots of countries in Europe, it's okay to stop cars randomly for a check, even if they've done nothing at all. In the UK. If you stop a car, they have to have shown some sign of doing something wrong. There has to be a reason to stop them. Now, the named person's policy, in my view, goes on to the, the, the Italian side, where there can be a random stop, an assumption that Nobody's you might have done something when there is no sign that you have. And that is, well, you, there, there are people watching you to make sure that you're, you're, you are supervising Nobody's, your child. Nobody's well. okay, you. Okay, what what is my name the person doing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. If hang they're hang not in charge in some way. Let's, all right, let, we've got no, 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 don't, 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 don't explore don't this around the panel. Don't care what your child eats or drinks or what you let them watch. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, please, wait, wait. The woman there. Hi, um, Hamza, I just, I just don't understand. Um, when we've got a shortage in teachers in this country, so many people exporting the trade that they learn here to other countries like Dubai and uh, Singapore, how are you going to be able to fund this exactly? We haven't got the infrastructure sorted out yet. So when you start putting more, um, more uh, like 
power in the hands of teachers. What you're actually doing is reducing the role of social workers. I can see quite quickly that what's going to happen is we're going to reduce how, how much help we get from the welfare state in Scotland uh, at the expense of Scottish children. That's a problem. We need to look at that before we start looking at binding guardianships. Are, are you in, are you, are, are you in favour in principle of a named person to protect a child's interests? The problem with the idea of the named person is, is that when you start saying that every single child needs looking after, you're reducing the role of the parent or the foster parent or these other people. If you do, when, when you do that, when you reduce their role, what you're doing is, is you're making it impossible to to say where the fault lies. Okay. You're creating more red tape and meaning that more children are going to fall between the cracks, in, especially if you're looking at rural communities, especially in like the Highlands. If you have to travel ages to get to school, or if you're at college and your place has been cut, where do you go for that support? All right. Ke Kezia Dugdale. Mm -hmm. Well, I was the Labour Party's education spokesperson when the bill that introduced this idea it was passed and I supported it. I supported the SNP on it. I supported the principle of the named person. I still support the principle of the named person and my reason for so doing is because children's charity after children's charity came and explained to me that this was absolutely critical, not to protecting the most vulnerable children in society, but those kids who maybe every other day come to school hungry or every other day dirty or every other day have had a sleepless night and nobody is tying all those pictures together and understanding what that child might need. Now, the problem I have with the position the SNP find themselves in is that they have utterly failed to explain this policy to the people of Scotland, which is why I have argued that we should ask the Children's Commissioner, who in principle supports the named person, to spend a bit of time running a campaign explaining what the named person is about and why it will benefit thousands of children across the country. And Hamza represents that as a flip-flop. No, no, not at all. It's about understanding what we're trying to do. People in Scotland have lost complete faith in this policy. It has to be rebuilt before it's introduced in the all autumn, right. Hamza. Da David, David Mundell. This, this policy will be the test of whether Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP are listening to the people of Scotland. People in Scotland want this policy withdrawn. It was bad legislation. What, 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 what's bad about it? Was bad legislation what's bad about through it? by a majority SNP government with an ineffective Labour opposition. The bad thing the about it is that it, it applies. It applies to every <laughs> child. It does not focus the resources onto <laughs> the most vulnerable. It applies to every single child. And I why, think why people. Why did you abstain? I think why did people, the Tories abstain? I think that people watching this programme in the other parts of the United Kingdom will find it incredible incredible that every child in Scotland is to have a named person regardless of any assessment of their vulnerability at all. Now, we've made, it, we've made our position uh, clear. I think during uh, the election it became clear that people in Scotland do not support this approach and it is time for okay. Nicola Sturgeon to Jim, withdraw Jim, this policy. Jim, Jim <laughs> the named person is part of a large act of 103 sections and five schedules. It illustrates where the problem lies in Holyrood. And I'll, I'll come to the name person in a moment. Well, hold on, let's, let's just stick with the name person. Yeah, I want to get another yeah, question yeah, before is, we end the programme, really, if I may. This is really quite important. I don't believe a 95 Holyrood Parliament can properly legislate on issues like this. For example, well-being. Well-being has several meanings, depending upon family circumstances and all the rest of it. It would not have passed Westminster, let me tell you, mm. uh, on this basis, where line by line and clause by clause is examined. The, this is a well-meaning act. But if you look at the sections that actually deal with the named person, there is ambiguity all over the place. And my advice to my colleagues in the SNP would be to take away this section of the Act and discuss with the other parties in Parliament, everyone wants to look after children, how this can in fact be amended to meet the anxieties of parents but ensure that those children who need looked after actually get looked after. Okay. Because I don't think... <laughs> 
but just very briefly, you don't, you don't think, you don't think by its nature it's intrusive for it to apply to everybody? Just very quickly. Yes, I, 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 I think if I were a parent, I would think it intrusive. Intrusive. Yes. Okay. 